Hi everyone, today I will show you NetPeak Spider 3.8 update that contains new Yandex Metrica integration that allows you to export keywords from your Yandex Metrica account, three new parameters, and 17 new issue checks. Let's briefly run through these updates together. Previously, you could export search queries from Google Search Console but it may not help you if you want to optimize your website for Yandex. That's why we have the new integration for you. To configure it, go to the settings, Yandex Metrica tab, add your account, choose necessary website and turn on the export of keywords option. Press OK. Turn on Yandex Metrica keywords in the sidebar and press the start button. After the crawling is complete, program will retrieve all available keywords from the service and you will be able to open this option for any specific page or for the whole table using database Yandex Metrica Keywords Report. Here you will find all the search phrases and also statistics data, so you will be able to find some insights and better optimized web pages for this search engine. I want to notice that this service can show you search phrases that attracted at least 10 users from SERPs. So it, it will perfectly fit mid and medium size and big websites with high frequency keywords. If you want to export this report with all retrieved keywords, go to the export menu, extra large reports from database and choose keywords from Yandex Metrica option. And pretty much that's it. I wish you good luck with optimizing your website for Yandex and getting a lot of traffic. Also, we have three new parameters and 17 new issue checks. Let's briefly run through the most important of them. The first one is contains lorem ipsum. It's like a template that you use to fill a page layout. If you forgot to replace it, the Big Spider will show you the specific pages that contains it. Second one is contains flash. It's an old technology that will soon be turned off through all Google Chrome browsers. So it's the perfect time to turn off this technology on your website and use the modern ones. And the third parameter is iframe count. It, it will help webmasters to track the number of these tags and not to overuse them on your website. As well as we have 17 new issue checks, I will show you only the most important of them. The first one is links to localhost. If you forgot to replace these links after development, the Big Spider will highlight them and help to fix it. Then HTTPS to HTTP redirects. Actually, it should work other way, but if some HTXS settings was wrong or something like that, the Big Spider will highlight it and help to fix it. Then HTTPS to HTTP hyperlinks. Sometimes HTTPS pages contain HTTP links and it's, and it's wrong because you forgot to add S at the end. So Netpeak Spider will show you specific links with these wrong protocols and hope you'll fix them as fast as you can. And mixed content. It's a common problem when HTTPS page uses HTTP content like images, JavaScript or other. And even Google Chrome will highlight this problem and you can find it in the top left corner of the URL field and it's time to fix it. So use Netpeak Spider after, for example, migration from HTTP to HTTPS protocols to fix all the problems uh, with during this migration. The next issue is URLs with UTM parameters that shows internal links that contains analytics markers in URL. It's the problem because when user follows these links, it may start a new web session and lead to inaccurate data in your analytics. So it's better to keep your internal links clear without any UTM markers. Then 
links with hyperlinks with empty anchor tags. It's an opportunity for SEO, uh, for website optimization, and if you don't use it, then it's better to start because Netpeak Spider was created exactly for these tasks. And last two issues that I want to talk about is emojis in or any other special symbols in title and description. Of course, it's a common practice to use emojis in title tag or in description because it makes the snippet more fancy, but sometimes it's over spammed or just not correctly used. So if you're working with uh, cleaning your title or description tags from emojis or opposite you want to add them and want to add them properly use these two issues to show all the pages with emojis or special symbols in meta tags we have even more new issue checks but i invite you to learn them by yourself starting the crawling in the updated the big spider 3.8 and also i invite you to book a demo following the link in the video description Thanks a lot for your attention. I wish you a dozens of good backlinks and a lot of traffic. Bye-bye.